Hey YouTube, Stack Attack here with a box of pennies. We're going to be looking for old uh, old wheat pennies, Indian head pennies, that would be great. Um, didn't see anything in the, you know, looking through the holes in the top. So we'll open this up and see what we've got. You want to give it a, give it a rip? Sure. That's right. I think this part Here, is grab the those part scissors. Yeah. There we go. All right, what do we have? I don't see any. I don't see any wheat pennies. At least I don't see any reverses. So we'll get into it. I'm sure we'll find some. And as soon as we do, we'll let you know. All right, we got first first roll. At least one. I just came out like this. It's kind of worn. Oh. 1930. Oh, wow. Yeah, 1930 Philadelphia. No mint mark. Decent condition. Very clear date. Awesome. Nice. That's an awesome start. First roll, 1930 Philadelphia Wheat Penny. Nice find. All right, this is the fourth roll, and we're going to have another Wheat Penny. It's actually the third, because I haven't even opened my second roll yet, but uh, also nice condition. Yeah. 1945D. A nice looking coin. Not too shabby. Nice find. Thanks. That's awesome. All right, so this is my third roll that I'm opening, and uh, first wheat penny for me. 1937D. Nice. Man, I was not expecting that because that is. It looks some... like a 55. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. 1937D. That's an awesome looking coin. Awesome. Very cool. That's uh, We're in the sixth roll of the box, and we've got three wheat pennies, two from the 30s and one from the 40s, so pretty awesome find. And then we just pulled an older Canadian out, which would be old enough to be a wheat penny, 1944. So another older coin. Awesome. Good box so far. Right, we just got a nice wheat penny, 1944D, really nice condition. That is awesome. Nice find. We should put that in a coin flip. Yeah. Nice find. That's awesome. Thank you. All right. Next roll. Next wheat penny. <clears throat> it's got some wear to it. Maybe it'll be older. 1949. Youngest coin. Youngest wheat penny find of the day. 1949. No mint marks. That'll be a filly. We'll take it though. Nice find. All right, I have another wheat penny in that same roll that I just pulled the 49 out of. This one looks pretty worn as well. It's a 45 Philadelphia. That's all right, we'll take it. Two in the same roll, that's awesome. This is shaping up to be an awesome box. We're only in roll number nine. All right, next roll, next wheat penny. Nice shape, 1944, Philadelphia. Oh, awesome. Might as well just check these real quick. Nothing. All right, on to the next. What is it? This one. This one? Mm -hmm. All right, we got our newest wheat penny, 1956D. First one from the 50s. We'll take it though. But uh, we're moving in the wrong direction. Let's keep going older. Yeah. Let's try to find some older ones. All right. You've seen the date? Yes, I have. All right. Well, I haven't seen the date. So we'll just take a look at the reverse first. Decent That's condition. That's pretty, pretty good. And this is older? Yes, it's older. All right. 1919. That is awesome. 
really nice over a hundred years old nice condition there's a good good angle good shot of it and the, and the reverse is in nice shape too awesome find <laughs> don't want to lose that <laughs> awesome all right that roll with the 1919 it's this one had another one in yeah, it yeah yeah that's pretty nice condition mm -hmm. 1946 d another nicer looking coin got some original luster on it two in one roll that's awesome this box is on fire all right got a wee penny but i also just pulled a 64 canadian penny out but uh let's take a look at this wee penny it's a pretty nice condition 1942d got some original luster left on it that is awesome all right, I should have just kept the camera rolling. Another wheat penny in that same roll with the, what was that, 42D that I just got? I think so. This is a 55D. So. That's the double die thing, isn't it? I think the Philadelphia one is the double die. Oh. Uh, we can double check. <laughs> Pun intended. All right. Nice. Second one from the 50s keep on going all right so quick update you know we're maybe 20 rolls in Incorrect. you've got one here that you think looks old yeah i think this is gonna be 19 teens you think so okay. oh yeah i hope you're right wow that thing's worn do we see a vdb on there i don't Another 1919, I think. Let's zoom in on that a little bit more. For a second, I thought it was a 1909. Yeah. That's a 1919. Yeah. 1919. Philadelphia. Awesome. Another old coin. All right, I was just about to show this wee penny that I, that I found. Nice condition on the reverse. 1952D. And right as I was turning the camera on, you probably heard the, oh, 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 I have an old one. I mean, it might not be old, it, but it looks like it's that old. That looks pretty nice condition. Yeah. Another 1919. Holy smokes, that's three in this box. Yeah. And this one's in nice condition, too. I think the first one was in nice condition. And the second one was really nice. <clears throat> yeah, this one's really nice. It's an awesome looking coin. Nice. All right, another wheat penny. This one? Yes. You can kind of tell the patina on those. I haven't seen the date, but you can just kind of tell I've sometimes. Seen the date. You have? 1946D. All right. Nice find. I don't know if I should just keep the camera rolling. There's probably another one in there, but we'll keep looking and uh, let you know what we find next. All right. I've got one here. Nineteen forty two Philadelphia. Nice coin. Check out the rest of the roll and see if we got any more. Alright, got a another wheat penny here. This one's reddish in color. Nineteen fifty two D. Alright, seen better days, but we'll take it. All right, next roll and uh, another wheat penny. <clears throat> 1948D. I don't think we've found one of those yet today. Not bad. On to the next. So I got another one in the same roll. And it's a 1946D. And then right as I was turning the camera on, you got one? Where'd it go? Yeah, uh, it's that one. Okay. It's got some wear to it. Mm -hmm. 1913. Nice, fine. 1913. No mint marks. That'll be a Philly coin. <clears throat> awesome, fine. Day. Yeah, oldest coin of the day. Awesome. Let's keep on going. Which one? This one. This one. All right. Nice condition. 57D. All right, just made it. Second to last year. 
of the official wheat penny. We'll take it. On to the next. All right, got a wheat penny. Looks kind of worn. Hopefully it'll be older. 1929. Philadelphia. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so that's... We've gotten it's from the teens, the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, and the 50s. We just need the 09. Be so. great if we got one. <laughs> awesome. Let's keep on going. All right, where is it? That one? Uh, this one. This one. All right. Oh, it's got some luster. 1944D. Awesome find. All right, let's see if there's any more in there. All right, here is the wrap up. We got, um, we ended up with 24 wheat pennies, which is an incredible box. We got four from the teens, so three were 1919 and one was a 1913. We got a 1929. Uh, 30 and 37D, I think. Yeah. A bunch from the 40s, including this and a really nice one, 44D, and uh, five from the 50s. And then we got <clears throat> a bunch of Canadians today. Five of seven were old. Yeah, like, five or seven old. were, yeah, older. A couple could have been wheat pennies. So, yeah, pretty good box. Um, awesome, awesome box, actually. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, appreciate you coming along, and we'll see you next time. Take care.